<laughs> Are we rolling? Uh... Are we rolling? All right. Keep this in there. Are we rolling? All right. Uh, hey, everybody. I know this isn't the normal way that we communicate with our audience, but for those that are tuning in and wondering what in the hell is going on, it is April 10th. It is 1.03 in the afternoon. I am Darren Smith. I am here. I'm looking at Jordan Carruth. Some guy named Jordan? I don't know. I'm looking at Marty Caswell. Martha, what's going on? Marty, who cannot stop (laughs) cursing. Uh, And a lot of you are asking a question, and it's the obvious question. What is happening with the Mighty 1090? And we are here, and we just felt like this was the best way for us to communicate. I thought about doing a Twitter video, but like, when's the last time we ever did a Twitter video? We've never done a Twitter video. Um, never. Instagram Live? We've never done an Instagram Live. We've never done a Periscope. No. So I'm like, why are we going to bother doing all the stuff that we've never really done? Exactly. The majority of you have interacted with us via us talking into microphones and you listening. And sometimes that's listening live on 1090 AM or that's listening live on the Mighty 1090 app or that's living or listening at Mighty1090.com. And so we just figured like this would be the best way today for us to communicate with all of you, because this is the natural flow of conversation. So we've been sitting here since about 1135. We're just going to burp up a couple of facts, and then we'll have some thoughts. Should I get the uh, typewriter sound effect ready for Marty here? Maybe. I mean, this this is what people come to expect with the show. This is sort of the you can't handle Carruth, you can't handle the truth. I don't know that we can really handle the truth today, and we're not even quite sure what the truth is. But I just want to, uh, you know, let's just get to the stuff that you guys really, really care about. At about 11.30 or so, somewhere in that range, mm-hmm. as we were sitting here, I was preparing a killer segment on Fernando Tatis Jr. and Manny Machado. I really was. Because I knew we had about 40 minutes before the Padre game started in San Francisco after they got uh, dutch ovened last night. Really? Yes. You've been waiting all this time for I that. had good material this was I was, and I was putting together, I swear to you, Darren, maybe the best TV listings I've ever put together in my entire life. Spectacular. Phenomenal. It's great. I, I knew it would grab your attention. We had Disneyland tickets yes. to give away, which we're now going to keep for ourselves. The about, happiest place on earth. Not today. Here's not the happiest place. The opposite of that is the Mighty 1090 today in BCA Radio, because at about 1130, Mike Glickenhouse walked into our studio and he opened the door. He had a somber look on his face and he says, we need to have a meeting with everybody who's here inside of the building, which at that time did not include Jordan Carruth because he was picking up lunch. Burrito time for me. (laughs) This poor guy. I know. (laughs) So we look at Glickenhouse. He says, we have been taken off the air by the people who own our tower, which transmits on 1090 AM. We have been taken off the air. And uh, though it is surprising to hear somebody say that, I will tell you that the two people, at least who were sitting here in the studio, myself and Marty, we had been aware that this was a possibility. We had been aware that this is a possibility because this happened to two of our sister stations just a couple of months back with 105.7 and with 1700. And we were not sure if this is what was going to happen with 1090. And so uh, we all convene in this room and a bunch of long faces, as you would expect, And Mike Lickenhouse told us that the people who own the signal, that they have decided that they no longer are interested in being partners with BCA Radio, which is the parent company of the Mighty 1090. Um, There's a lot of stuff that I I think will come out in time and stuff that I'm not prepared to talk about today because there are legal reasons why I cannot I cannot share with you some of the stuff that was said. Some of the stuff might come out but I'm not going to put my name to any of that. Suffice it to say, it is incredibly disappointing. It's disappointing for me as somebody who's been here since day number one. It is disappointing for Marty. She has been here since day number one. Jordan has been here for over a decade. I mean, we have literally watched Jordan grow grow up up and get married right before our eyes, as we say constantly. I take a lot of pride in being a founding member of this radio station, I'm sure you're wondering if this is it for the Mighty 1090. We are wondering if this is it for the Mighty 1090. Uh, I will tell you that there is not a lot of optimism about our future as a sports radio station. I'm sure externally things will be said and, and inaccurately said about why the Mighty 1090 finds itself in this position today and why we as employees find ourselves in this position today. 
It is. Uh, it's it's heartbreaking. There are people who are in tears at this radio station. There are people who have genuine and sincere fears about their own futures, about health benefits, about bill paying, and it sucks. Everything about this today is miserable. We would much rather be on the air, me distracted by Champions League, us talking about Padres and Giants, Marty geeking out over the NFL draft, and Jordan preparing a You Can't Handle Carruth segment. But we just need you to hear it from us. Is this it? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's a day where, where some of this news, you know, even if you had been bracing for the news that we were told at about 1130, again, keep in mind we're 30 minutes before showtime that this, this was happening. Yeah. You're never quite prepared to hear those words. And again, there's a lot more that will come out. I've, I've seen five million phone calls from people in the local media and <laughs> those that are listening to this. I appreciate the words of support for those who are just digging for information. You know, I'm just not interested in sharing some of that stuff with you. But, um, you know, I, I've, if it is it, I, I, I walk out of this with my head held very, very high. And I'm very proud, and, and I've got more out of this experience here at the Mighty 1090 than I ever, ever could have imagined. And for that, I just simply say thank you. I say thank you to everybody who has listened to the show, who has liked the show, who hasn't liked the show but has still continued to listen to the show. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. the relationships with Marty, with Jordan, with everybody who works here. Alex Padilla is hanging around this radio station. Joe Tatino, who we've known forever, is hanging around this radio station. Andrew Buer is still hanging around this radio station. Frank Anthony is hanging around this radio station. And, and none of us know what is happening tomorrow. None of us know if... This is it when we walk out of this building today on this Wednesday afternoon, if there will be a Thursday or a Friday or a next week or a next month. And it's a really, really crappy, crappy position to be in. Jordan said we couldn't curse during this. And we can't curse because we're worried that we're, I mean, what are we worried about at this point? <laughs> Well, but, Jordan's trying to be professional. Yes. Remember, Jordan's the, Jordan's the one. He's the one with he's common sense, right? When mom and dad fight, mm. Jordan leaves the room yep. with you know, and then he comes. He knows he knows what to do at the right time. So, you know, Jordan is the the, the calm and grounded one. I'm the emotional one. Yes. who hasn't learned how to use a microphone, which is why I was Cussing. unleashing Darren with some expletives. Not sure if that were being transmitted or not. Those right. were a lot of f words. <laughs> There were a lot. I'm sure Jordan was rolling. He might be able to edit that because we never, we will never be done putting extra work on Jordan's plate. I know, I know. It's unbelievable. Um, you know, it's just, it, it, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it really sucks because, you know, we're on a really good run here. Yes. I mean, and I'm not just saying that. I think anybody who knows knows, like, we don't, I don't spend a lot of time talking about ratings. Because it's sort of like in, in, in you know, to make a baseball metaphor here, guys don't ever want to talk about hitting streaks. Like, ah, don't talk to me about that. You know, when ratings are good, you don't ever really want to talk about it because ratings can get real bad real quick. This is a very, very fickle business. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that adds to, to some of the frustration with what we're all feeling as a station today. And again, I, I guess Scott put out on Twitter that he's going to be making a public commentary at 3 o'clock today, so you can all stay tuned for that. I mean, this is just what we wanted to do as a show. We initially said, well, do you want us to go on and do you want us to stream our show? We had a great show lined up. Great show we lined guessed. up. I mean, poor Steve Sands. And we were going to talk about Magic, <laughs> Magic Johnson and the Lakers. So you know, we had Show Tiempo. He was going to tell us what was going on in hockey. And, and you know, of course, with the distraction of, of Barcelona Real and uh, Manchester United. And um, well, he said that, and we were told no. You know, we were told no, that not to go on, on a stream. And then so we just sat here because, you know, we've. Where else are we going to go? This is what we do every day. <laughs> Plus, I had just shown up with burritos. Jordan just showed up. This poor guy just shows up with burritos, and everybody, you know, everybody has this this look on their face, the shock look on their face. It's like, well, what's going on? Why is the front door closed? Why did I have to use my key to get back in the building? And so we had to tell Jordan what was going on here, and um, you know, that's not a lot of fun. You know, it's not a lot of fun for a recently married guy, and and you know, everybody with their their own individual situation. So, um, and then, you know, Glick comes walking back in and, you know, says something about, well, if you want to go on the stream, and we're like, you know, Mike, why don't you, why don't you leave us alone for the rest of the day and go try to figure out a, a way to get us back on the radio? 
Like, why don't you go focus on that? And don't focus on the people who are sitting here in the studio, because that's the bond that people on the programming side of things have. You know, people in programming are programmers, and even though we all have our differences, we are bound by the fact that we're on the programming side of an operation like this, and have been for 16 years. And uh, again, I, I wish I had more. I, and I can tell you my, my gut doesn't feel great, but I, I'm hoping that somebody comes riding in on a white horse and, Me too. and is able to salvage this. Because even if it's only till the end of my contract, which is April of 2020, I don't want to go out like this. You know, I've, I've been here too long to go out like this. And I'm proud of I love this show. I do, too. And you know, I, I want the show, show to continue and I want the show to continue in some capacity because, you know, as much as I like getting a paycheck and as much as, you know, I like being here and, and interacting with so many of you, even if it's non-traditionally, you know, I, I do love this show. I do love this show and I love the people who work on this show and I'm saddened even by the thought and I'm not ready yet to say that this show you know might might have broadcast for the final time i i just i i you know that that bothers me yeah. and uh that upsets me and and you know as i say it's it's uh it's the reality of this crummy business at times um you know i don't think today's the day where i really want to point fingers and start blaming other people i just simply would would say you know if it is it, I, I cannot I cannot express it any better than this. I, I got more out of this than I ever, ever could have imagined when I arrived here in, in 2003. And I'm sure for Marty and Jordan, who are local to San Diego, you know, Jordan was saying when he got here to work at the Mighty 1090, I mean, it, it meant something. And for Marty, a lifelong San Diegan, a sports fan here who grew up living and dying with the Padres and Chargers to work local radio... Yeah. After being a local radio supporter and a caller back in the day, so oh, she never really quiet. admits that. Um, I remember the this day. This matters. I, I, like, the, this matters. Yeah, I remember the day when the station started up, you know, because the original one had moved operations to LA. I remember, <laughs> you'll laugh, Darren. J- Jordan will have no idea what I'm talking about. I faxed in my resume. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh yeah, Damn. that's right. I I I went I went to like a place and I went used the fax machine. And I faxed to my resume saying, I love sports. <sighs> and I, I love sports radio. So I'd be a great fit. So. And then somebody said, well, here's a beer koozie. Go <laughs> hand it out at OG's. Here's a keychain. Because <laughs> that's what you do when you want to get into sports. And I said, I too love sports. And they said, well, you can produce for the Scott and BR oh, show. Oh, boy. I was ready to pack my bags and leave after six months. And Jordan wanted to work here. And Jordan, I think Jordan probably got treated the best out of all three of us. Yeah, I went straight to the uh, internship coordinator and I said, I'm only going to work on Darren's show. If you put me on any other show, I'm bailing. I'm not even going to show up anymore. <laughs> so I was lucky that they actually assigned me to this show. I think we've got... Uh, just... Also, Darren, I must say, a little bit more than 10 years ago, I remember asking you the question, what advice do you have... <laughs> For someone getting in radio. <laughs> what did I tell you? You said run, run. away. <laughs> <laughs> I said don't do yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I didn't listen to you. Well. Well. Again, I, I you know, the bond on this show. No I mean, other place I would have rather spent my twenties. Yes. Oh. You're all of his twenties. We got him as a teenager, no. right? Yeah. Got me we as, got a him as a teenager. Did you have facial hair when you first started on this do show? Do I have facial hair now? Oh, Not oh. really. You can oh. yeah, you have a mustache. He gives it an effort. Sometimes, he gives it an sometimes, sometimes I'm lazy. And by the way, you know what really makes me... You know what I ordered yesterday for this show? Do you know what I ordered yesterday for this show? I know things. Wait, I drink and I know things. I ordered this show Game of Thrones wine glasses, which means, Darren, we now, we can, this, we can binge watch Game of Thrones as a show together. I'm, it's not a terrible idea. Yeah, what do you say? It's not a terrible idea. I mean, I... You can live stream it. <laughs> I guess the silver lining for Jordan is no more 52 to 805. Well, let's, let's, you know, you know. <laughs> right. I, again, um, let's, some of this, you know, the humor is, is what you do to break through the tension and, and the emotion of it all. Right. And, you know, the, the fact that this, this could, could be, it, it could be it. I hope you not. Know, again, there's a lot of long faces around this radio station, and I hope not as well. I mean, I, mean, I hope not, not only for, for myself, for whatever, you know, I was saying earlier about my own employment 
at this place, but uh, I don't I don't want to see that happen to the people who work here, because oh, I care care greatly about the people who work at this radio station, and. Um, Again, you know, don't believe all the, the stupid shit that you hear out there from people who are going to try to become radio experts and tell you why it is or what went wrong. I mean, there's there are people here who don't know the full story. And this came as a surprise to people who work here. I don't I wouldn't say a total surprise that we were taken off the air. And, you know, maybe this is you know, maybe this is one of those where it's a crisis and, and you never let a crisis go to waste. And you come back and you become a, a bigger and a better show or station or media company, which is really the name of the game. I mean, fact of the matter is, not to take it too far deep into the business of radio, because we said we were going to make this really, really short, and the second half of these Champions League matches have started. But, you know, a standalone single entity AM radio station is just, you know, it's not a great business model in and of itself. And you just, you know, we need we need more than that. Um and, and, you know, for as, as, again, not to pat ourselves on the back, but for as good as our ratings were, you know, it's just hard to be a, you know, if you look at our competition, for instance, if you look at Enercarm iHeart, you might notice, those of you that pay attention to radio, those are radio clusters. There are a lot of radio stations in the iHeart family, in the Entercom family, so they have advantages that we don't have. And, again, I won't bore you too much, and I have no idea. What do we all think Kaplan's going to say at 3 o'clock today? <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't He's going to put either. his stuff on sighted. I guess I don't. I, I'm kind of curious. I mean, and I have only traded messages. And where is he going to? Where is he going to put this content? I don't know. I don't know. You know, he's probably going to be a Facebook live or an Instagram live oh, or something along yeah, those yeah. lines. But I don't think you've heard the last of us. Uh, you may. You may have heard the last of us on AM 1090. We cannot control quick background on that our our tower is in mexico and it is a uh we were all familiar with contract negotiations in sports this is a contract negotiation and it didn't go well and that's why we were taken off the air 30 minutes before our wednesday program we are not in control of the contract we were not fired we haven't been told that we were laid off we probably should consider that but we are, until further notice, we are not going to be on the radio. And that's unusual because all I do in life, and I'm sure Marty and Jordan would agree, all I do is think about the show in my life. I think about everything that I watch, everything that I hear and read. I think about how that might apply to the show. And it's, that's going to be different. You know, that's, that's definitely going to be different. Jordan and I are still going to do soccer podcasts. So you can expect one of those tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe you should jump into the podcast world. People need to hear, Martha, what's going on. They need to know, Martha, what's going on. We do appreciate all of you who tweeted today, Martha, what's going on, when you tuned in at 12 o'clock and the show wasn't available. Martha, what's going on? And we're so sorry that you had to listen to whatever drivel was on the radio at 12 o'clock. I don't know what that was, and I haven't listened to it. But I'm glad I'm, I applaud those of you who were blaming Jordan for his music selection. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was getting blamed for the musical rejoins. People thought Marty pressed the button. They were looking to me to... Hopefully Jordan could fix this. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I, I wish I had more, but that's as much as we know. And uh, we just wanted you to hear it from us today. And I don't know when the next time is, other than Jordan and I. Apparently, if our keys still work tomorrow, we'll come up and we'll record a podcast. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm sure you haven't heard the last of us. But uh, thank you for all of your concern. I mean, that, that also means a lot. For people who are asking, well, what's going on? And, and all the texts and all the tweets and from a lot of you who we've met over the years and a lot of you who uh, we've never met. But um, it, it's, it, it was heartfelt and, and it was heartwarming that uh, you know, five minutes after we were supposed to be on, some of you said, well, what in the where is what's going on here? So did we did we cover our bases? I think so. Did we not step in it legally for um, for ourselves? Um, I yeah. think it's uh, I, I don't think we're saying goodbye. Not right now. <sighs> don't you go get an emotional. Honest. You be quiet. People don't expect this. Out you, of you shut up. You shut up. <laughs> you shut up. Yeah, people no. expect Darren and I to cry before you. I know. Seriously. I, think I know. What's, the... what's happening in the soccer? I'm the tough guy. <laughs> what's happening in the soccer? Darren? Nothing but good things. So no, far. I look forward to I look forward to listen. We'll hang out. PB. 
Allie and PB? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Getting a scooter together? Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Anything? See you guys at Petco Park? <laughs> Come on. You know, you know Darren. You're not going to see Darren at Petco Park. Who I'm going right to see you guys this Sunday, Game of Thrones. If I don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning, that's a whole new world for me. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm not planning on getting up at 5.30 tomorrow morning on Thursday. And the uh, truth of the matter is I would rather be me getting too. up at 5.30 and continuing with my day-in, day-out routine. I, gosh, I'm so routine-oriented. Like, I'm trying to figure out how that's going to work, too. Everything in my life is like get up, 5.30, have a cup of coffee, have two sausages, cut up an apple. Like every single day I'm, I'm mostly in the same groove, and that's at least temporarily going to be disrupted. But that's neither here nor there. There are way more important things to focus on. But um, that's all I got, and that's, that's really all I got. You have not heard the last of us, and you have definitely not heard the last of the situation. And, um, you know, this this – uh, there's a lot that th- th- there's a lot of fire and and uh, a lot of uh, emotion being bottled up that um, very well could play out here over the next who knows how long days months perhaps even years but uh, as as again a couple people who have been here as, as long as anybody uh, this this hopefully is not goodbye to the mighty 1090 but uh, there is there's no way for us really to know. There's no way for us to know. So uh, we still will be at Jordan Carruth, at Marty Caswell, and, uh, and at D. Smith Show, and we will update you as the situation warrants. So uh, peace out, and thanks.